Okay, what's up guys? So today we're doing how to change uh, your air filter, well, clean your air filter um, on your dirt bike. And basically all dirt bikes are the same, so it doesn't matter what kind of bike you have. But first, I got some new oil, so I'm going to change the oil right here on my wrench. And first thing you want to do is find your drain plug, which on here looks like it's right there. So I got to get to that. Anyways, guys, thanks for popping into the channel. Um, uh, we're doing this, so I hope you guys like and subscribe. Enjoy the video, and let's get right into it and get this going. I got the wrench on the plug. I got this down there, and I got a hole in my skid plate, but you know what? That's all good. So I'm going to loosen this, and then I'm going to let the oil drain out. It's tight. Nikes. Okay, got it loosened. Now I need to nut right there. And what I like to do is take this out and then push up on the drain plug so when you're taking it out, no oil comes in. And then, oh, that's really hot still. One second. Okay, so, so what you wanna do when you're loosening this So when you drain, no oil gets on you. So pushing up, so no oil gets on me. And then once I'm pretty sure I got it all the way out, I just pull out like this. Oh, it's not done just yet. Get some on me, but it's all good. Oh, there we go. Holy cow. And now you let the oil drain. All right, so right now the oil is just finishing up draining. Now, sometimes if it helps you, you can take the bike and lean it to the side. Put it straight up and down and some more comes out of there. Shake it. And just a bunch of little stuff like that. Then next we're gonna do the oil filter. Okay, so next, you got your oil filter, you just got your standard eight millimeter, and you want to loosen one a little bit, and then loosen the next one because you don't want to add strength to have more strength on one side than the other because it can make it crack. Chances are it's not gonna crack, but just in case. So then you loosen the bolts. Okay, bolts are out. Sometimes this can be really hard. Sometimes you gotta like put some extra pressure on it. And then take the glove, push it down, push down and up a little. Still pretty tight. So you gotta loosen this. So, kinda... so you can also take a hammer and a rag. Okay, so I gotta take the old filter out. There's the old one. Put it in there. And then you, most of the time I'm gonna take a rag, clean it up in there, so I'll grab a rag real quick. Just stuff it in there. Clean it out, all good. You don't want any excess oil in there. So, that is pretty clean. Gotta get a little more. But other than that, that's clean. Then we'll put the next one in after this. Okay, so take a new filter. Turn it up. Then it goes in back like that, just like that. 
then you take your screws to this guy. And it also doesn't hurt to wipe off this guy a little bit. Get cleaned up so your seal doesn't get bad. Clean that all up. Got it clean. And make sure you're putting it on the right way. That way. Lift that up. Ugh. But sometimes what you want to do is take this, put a rag when it's really hot, like right now, and then start threading them in a little bit. So you don't have to hold it and it's not really hot. Then put this one in too. Then take your wrench, tighten each side evenly. Tighten the next one. So it's pretty tight, not too tight though, because you don't want to over tighten it. I got this, and it's pretty good. So now we're going to move on to dumping the new oil in. That I kind of got a redneck funnel, you know, it's all good. And then you take your drain plug off. And then I'm going to set you guys up. Hopefully you can see. Come on. Okay. So take funnel, and right off the bat, I know my bike takes a cord. So I'm going to not cord i've been doing a lot of firewood so i'm thinking cord all right the bat i know my bike takes a quart so i'm gonna pour a quart in there it takes about a quart and three quarters just trying not to drip this stuff's expensive so any oil companies that wants to sponsor shredded daily um i change my oil every five hours so you know it'd be much appreciated if you guys want to do that Probably in no oil companies even wash this, but you know what? Hey, one day might. You gotta think positive about that stuff. So wipe that off, a little bit that leaked. Got the next quart of oil, and I didn't even really tell you guys this. I'm using Honda GN4, a 10W30. It's the best oil that you can put in a Honda dirt bike. So and it's literally made for Hondas because it's Honda motor. So, here in a little bit, I'm gonna stand my bike up straight, start it up, let it get into the um, oil filter. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna let that drain in there, put my plug on, wipe this off, start her up. about 20 seconds and then see where that puts you and then you want to stand it up straight so after that you can like get a really good measurement on your dipstick or if you have a sight gloss on your bike anyways i will check back in when we get back to that okay so i'd say i let it idle long enough so now obviously once you start it your first measurement on your dipstick is not going to be correct so you want to just wipe it off the first time and i just use my shirt because really who cares by the way, guys, Shred Sports, the best freaking merch ever, obviously. It's like right up there with Shred Daily merch, so. Let's check this out. Bike's up straight. See what reading I'm getting. You know what I'm saying? I'm still a little over or under, so I might have to pour some more in there. And we'll see what we can get. Just see what, what she comes out to, guys. Um... Alrighty, just about another, about another quarter of a cord, quart in there, and we're good. Well, I'll check back in with you guys when we get into the air filter. So, I'm going to do, just clean up my mess right here real quick. Extra oil, I'm just going to leave right there. And then right here, I'm going to bring this right over to the garbage can. Now, let's start this air filter. So, next off, going to loosen... My side panel bolt. 
got it loose already, so I'm gonna set you guys up because I can't do it with one hand. Look at this. So take this panel off. Panel is coming off as soon as this bolt comes off. Clean up a little more of my mess. I realize I made a little more of an oil mess than I thought. Come on. Okay, thank you. And my panel just snap out. Kind of nice. So then, I'll take my impact, take my Milwaukee drill bits. Hey, Milwaukee, if you guys want to sponsor Shred and Daily too, I'm down. We got always gotta have tools in the shop. So gotta loosen these. My air box. Hope the camera's even on right now. Alrighty. Take off your air box. And you have your air box. Screws in there. Take this out. Look at that. Filthy. And I clean this literally like every week. And I don't even ride that much. Well, at least not in the summer because it's hot as crap. So, now I'm going to show you guys my secret to cleaning these. And you guys will be mind blown. Okay, so, I know gas is like expensive so expensive as crap right now so i just got some regular in here and uh pour some gas in i know what most of you guys say doesn't that deteriorate your filter so what i like to do is put about that much gas and yes it does deteriorate your filter but if you get a new filter every couple months or so you're fine you don't really have to worry about it so take the filter Put it in the bucket of gas first. Take this off. Filter off. Put it in here. This is literally cleans. Doesn't clean any better than this, honestly. This really gives you the time to realize how many cuts are in your hands, too. Look at that. Look at that. Make sure it's really rinsed out. Then you set it out to dry for about 15, 20 minutes. Then I'll check back in with you guys in 15, 20 minutes. All right guys, so once your air filter is dry, you take some PJ1 um, air filter spray. And I just coat it just a nice amount, just enough. Just about that on each side. Get that done. And then you also want to flip it upside down and get the seal right here. There you go. Now you got it clean. Then we got to put it back in. Now then, just like we started, you just put everything back together the same way it was. And that then, now we got new oil change and an oil filter clean and your dirt bike. And it's a pretty simple task. It probably takes... Longest thing is letting the filter dry. It probably takes about a half hour, 45 minutes, maybe an hour. So, awesome guys. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next one. And uh, let us know any other videos you guys want to see. Let's get it. You.